I'm in Dusseldorf, Germany, in the heart of the rhine ruhr district, which bridges a larger urban corridor reaching across the continent that both characterises and informs human development in the greater region, known as the Blue Banana. The Blue Banana is an economic corridor over Western and Central Europe, stretching from Northwest England, across the Low Countries of Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg, along the west of Germany and the eastern regions of France, through Switzerland, Liechtenstein and parts of Austria, before terminating in the north of Italy. The region is home to notable cities including Manchester and London, Amsterdam, Brussels, Cologne and Frankfurt, Strasbourg, Zurich and Milan. The definition of the region can be credited to the French geographer Roger Brunet and his team who, in 1989, formed the concept in research for the public interest group Reclus, where both passive and active spaces defined a backbone of increased population and economic activity along the outskirts of the French territory. The term blue banana can be credited to the former French minister Jacques Chirec, who had noted that the shape developed in the study as referencing the bend of a banana and also those at the publication Nouvelle Observateur, who had looked to colour the region blue in a plan within their journal, later said to reference either that of the European Union or the blue-collar workers whom the region is supported by. The Blue Banana is home to an increased population when compared to the greater region. This is exemplified by areas such as here in the rhine ruhr district of Germany, which is home to the country's largest metropolitan region and more than 10 million people across a polycentric network of cities. And the Blue Banana is home to more than half of the country's 20 largest centres by total population. There are examples of greater conurbations along much of the corridor, including the Randstad region of the Netherlands, the conurbation of Amsterdam, Rotterdam and The Hague, and also in Belgium at the informally recognised Flemish diamond, formed from the arrangement of Brussels, Ghent, Antwerp and Leuven, and home to more than 5 million people. All up, more than 100 million people call the Blue Banana home, and where the European average of population is something nearing 100 persons per square kilometre, many regions along the corridor are in excess of five times that density. The Blue Banana 2 is home to some of the largest economic centres across Europe, which include those within the cities of London, Frankfurt and Zurich, which all regularly rate as some of the largest commercial districts in the world by total value. However, the success of the corridor is not limited to its large cities, with gross domestic product by region showing those along the Blue Banana as much higher than the European average. Once again, the Rhineland area of Germany leads the way nationally, with the state of North Rhine-Westphalia providing the largest share of the country's total GDP, at approximately 20%. With an increased population and trade, the Blue Banana is supported also by an increased density of road and rail connections, often to a higher standard of construction and permissible speed. The corridor is home also to some of the largest airports across Europe, including those at London Heathrow, Amsterdam and Frankfurt, that all regularly see more than 60 million passengers a year, and also the largest seaports in Europe at Rotterdam and Antwerp. These connections have provided the incentive for many of Europe's largest companies to locate their headquarters here, as have two of the governing bodies within the greater region. The departments of the European Union are decentralised across numerous cities, all located within the corridor with institutions located in Brussels, Luxembourg City, Strasbourg and with the Central Bank here in Frankfurt. From its conceptualisation in 1989, many have noted the borders of the Blue Banana have since shifted, with a focus on increased development to its north. Others have theorised that the subjective portrayal of the banana itself as a contiguous corridor of development is flawed and that the Greater Europe region is more akin to a collection of polycentric centres. The Blue Banana as a concept has informed the definition of other corridors here in Europe. Here in Marseille, on the south coast of France, I'm within a corridor that reaches from Genoa in Italy to Catalina in Spain that is known as the Golden Banana and named in reference to its favourable weather. Also known as the Sun Belt, the corridor was first defined in the mid-1990s by the European Commission, with the area providing a backbone along the Mediterranean, rich in the business of information and communication technologies, and is also a primary travel destination. Planning theory has coined also the green banana, stretching across the east of the continent, from Croatia to Poland, and home to approximately 50 million people. With world population increasing, and nearly three in every four people expected to live within cities by 2050, 
The conglomerations along these corridors and the study of the social, economic and ecological savings they can provide us will allow for the strategic planning required in managing a growing population and the logistics involved in supporting it.